After two weeks of confusion and panic, a sense of quiet has finally settled over Heimdall. This somber air comes after the funeral of Prince Olivert, a service unattended by his father, Emperor Eugent, who remains in a coma. Furthermore, the Imperial Diet announced after an emergency session yesterday that the National Mobilization Law would be enacted immediately. The unanimously approved measure was put forth in response to a string of terrorist attacks masterminded by the Republic of Calvert. All Imperial subjects are required to offer their full cooperation at the government's request. With the new law in effect, the government has imposed rationing, instated a draft, and started requisitioning supplies for the army.
if it isn't Heimdall's very own Imperial Governor, Karl Regnitz. Although he's temporarily left his beloved capital to take office as interim supervisor here in Ordis. Meaning that the Empire has finally started to move in earnest. A conscription office has just opened here. It's only a matter of time before draft cards. No one can afford to be careless here. We Thor's graduates least of all. Indeed. What's more, with the inscrutable darkness enshrouding Heim, and though the Viceland army has mobilized, it would be quite unreasonable to expect them to handle everything by themselves. It seems we will need to find some allies and take action as well. Yes, including those who embody the spirit of the Horned Lion. Class 7, my dear gardening friend included. Time no see. How you been holding up? Yeah, it's been a rough ride for sure. I just got back last night. Me and this one have been packing things up. Oh. Yep, sure am. Things are looking pretty bad. Oh, right. I got a message from Rosine for you. Tell me 
me to tell you she wouldn't be back for a while and said she was sorry. Faster than I expected. Guess Meek's info was spot on. I better scram before she spots me. So this is the branch campus. But Instructor Makarov, why were we sent here so suddenly? Who knows? But I guess we're gonna have to take part in this messed up curriculum. I never thought we'd come back here under these circumstances. <sighs> wow, this place is pretty nice. I hear that one professor guy built some kind of training facility here too, yeah? Maybe while Princey Boy is off doing his duty, I'll have myself a little fun. Holding such a huge military parade like this is definitely suspicious. Especially considering how they put everything together so quick. I'm worried about Class 7, but I've got my own if I want to protect this country. They disappeared without a trace. I haven't heard a thing about Class 7. Norton's been acting weird too. I should probably get out of Heimdall for a while.
It goes without saying, but a harsh, bitter struggle lies ahead of this nation. We find ourselves faced with a war the like of which Erebonia has never seen. We will prove triumphant! We will bring to bear the finest strategies and the full might of the Imperial Army. And with the Reinford Group's cooperation, we now possess the greatest military force Zemuria has ever seen. I give you my word that this conflict will be over within the year! I come before you all today to announce the War Council's decision. We will punish the Republic of Calvert for their crimes and subjugate them under the might of the Empire. The hour will be upon us soon! We will begin the greatest military operation in Erebonian history. Operation Jormungand! Jormungand, the mythical serpent that swallows the world. It's a fitting name. Way too fitting if you ask me. This is Silverstreak. Yona, do you read me?
Sorry I'm late! Hi there. Good to see you again. Um, we joined up with Sully along the way. It... Well... Ilya's going to be moved from St. Ursula. They're sending her to Armorica for physical therapy. Oh, things are getting worse by the minute. What's gonna happen to my home? Mr. Shin. In all likelihood, the Republic will fall to the Empire. So, how can you... The World Serpent is slithering ever closer. You should leave this place and go to Remiferia for your own safety. I've already cleared it with the Elder. No, there's no way I'm leaving Ellie behind. We're Hayaway, aren't we? There must be something we can do. <sighs> Pardon me. Hey there, Mr. White Orchid Dragon. Guess I'm calling a bit late, huh? That's the guy from the Imperial Army's in- mm. Oh, it's quite alright, Scarecrow. Now, what's this about? The business we discussed before? Or- Nah, the other thing's already being handled. Don't worry about it. I'm calling about our little business arrangement. I want to get everything settled before the Governor General gets back. <laughs> Very well. 